Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable startup entries you might have when you're booting up your Mac computer. And if you're trying to increase the performance of your computer, um, this could definitely be a good step to take. So we're going to just start and jump right into this tutorial by heading up to the top left and left clicking on the Apple icon. You want to go down to the second option where it says System Preferences and left click on that. In the System Preferences window that appears, go to the bottom left where it says Users and Groups and left click on that. So underneath Current User or you could select other users as well if they are also on this computer, go to the Login Items button on the top right. So we can see that these items will open automatically when you log in. So there might be a very large list of applications here if you have a lot of stuff installed on your computer. So just keep that in mind. Some of these might actually have a lock icon next to them and all you have to do to unlock it is just to click on the application and then click on the lock icon. And then you have to type in your password. So just to give you guys an idea, if for some reason that it's locked and you want to unlock it, this is how you do it. So now that we've unlocked this application and we want to disable it from starting up of our computer starts up, you want to make sure this little check mark is filled in next to whatever application is listed here. If it says something on the right side that an application could not be found or is missing, I would definitely recommend hiding that because it means that the application is probably no longer on your computer, that this entry is related to, and you definitely do not need a startup entry if there's no application that it's starting up for, if that makes sense. So just check mark it here if you want to hide it when you're logging into your computer. It should speed up your computer experience a little bit, especially depending on how many programs you have listed here. And once you're done, you can just close out of the users and groups window and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.